All right, my little kumquats. A uh, video request by somebody who says, well, what's your interest in Oracons and cannons and 20mm stuff? Well, I've been interested in all kinds of guns from 16th century up to World War II. <coughs> cannons and artillery. So, ever since a little guy, I had two guns. One was a Ross rifle and I was a double barrel shotgun at 10 years old. Those things I loved, and then I collected more and more and more and more, and I had the biggest, wow, one of the biggest uh, collections on the west coast of Canada, on machine guns. And that's all documented in the news media for the court cases I went through and had fun with that, and other adventures I had, and TV people, and all that stuff. Anyway, so, Orlikon Cannons, I started acquiring them, and around 2012, just out of interest, because somehow they appeared out of nowhere to me and I got all, most of them at scrap price. Wow, I got them from the United States, um, all properly deactivated. Got them from Greece, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands. I mean, these shipments were many kilos. So I have 11 Orlikon cannons plus what else? Then just staying on Oricon. I got other things that are all over the place. <sighs> wow. Okay, so the reason for this little story is too. In 1986, I met a lovely, sexy lady from Hollywoodland, Yin Gazda. We instantly fell in love, and everything started changing there. Her brother in law, Peter Kokoschnig, famous Austrian physicist who invited me to Austria as well as Roland Brito and his group at Max Planck Institute to analyze my metal samples and also to look into what I was doing these invitations in and I were together we met in Vancouver and we stayed together in the Sheraton Landmark in Vancouver I was making dramatic changes moving literally going to move to Germany and live there, which indeed I did for two years. The lab didn't make it or the gun collection. However, some of the lab was returned to me when I returned from Germany, as well as all my gun collection by Richard Glue, Environment Canada. All kinds of characters were involved in all this. <laughs> so, back to this Orlikon tales. So Ian and I were together, and then one day she mentioned her granddad was a famous inventor. Antoine Gazda brought the Orlikon Wakefield, Rhode Island. Gazda Engineering, Wakefield, uh, Rhode Island. And it's quite an interesting adventure. And so she, Ian was showing me the papers and documents on Gazda's auto cannon which was the Orlikon, and that the U.S. government probably owed millions of dollars to her granddad. I thought this kind of fascinating. So, as we progressed into living together, of course, in Germany and having adventures, I got to see Antoine Gazda, Count Gazda's house in Vienna. I had the machine shop along with uh, parts and pieces for these things. And he's making some kind of a um, separator machine. Had the machine tools in the basement and everything. It was awesome. So, as time moved on, of course, I've always collected firearms. I was collecting them in Germany from Dietmar Frenzel. Uh, the store was located on Karl's Platt, Zwilling. Called Zwilling's Cutlery. And about, I, I had so many gun that said, well, let's say it's a very heavy load of stuff to take back to Vancouver, Canada, but I did. I had to go through the German police and United States Customs, but no problems. Everything arrived okay in Vancouver International Airport. Back to the Orlikon. I tend to wander, by the way. So, studying more of that and finding documents and papers, which I put on, on the internet, it's sort of this is forgotten history. And later meeting somebody who bought the house in Wakefield, Rhode Island. And
and Providence, Rhode Island. Communicated with them by emails and phone calls. This is now in 2014 and 15. Wow. That's when I started getting my first Oricons in from the Canon Superstore. Ed and Molly. From Gunbroker. Uh, these things were coming in full bore. Uh, and then uh, my interest kind of turned to reviving the history of Count Gazda. Now, Yen was saying she was going to do a documentary on him, but I haven't seen anything yet on um, Antoine Gazda, or Count Gazda. But, that was the Betsy Ross, is it? He got an original Gazda um, Orlikon mount from our friend, mutual friend in Greece, Alexandrios who I acquired many kilos or tons of stuff. Relicon cannon mounts. <laughs> anyway, jumping all over the place, aren't I? So that's some of the odd things. And look, on eBay, there was some of the actual original Gazda material, which I got off of eBay, and I have it around the corner. My interest, um, not solely Orlikon cannons, it's into artillery pieces of any kind, actually, as well as uh, anything World War II, um, going back to 15th century stuff. Cannons, artillery, handguns, pistols, rifles, all of that cool stuff. I'm not much in this too much into modern things except for well-made modern things uh, let's say you talk about um, an AR-15 to me they're a deadly piece of junk they're made out of aluminium which I detest and plastic which I detest something like that I'd probably break it up and toss it in the garbage I have done that with junk stuff like that to me, it's a deadly, useless thing. Now, the other thing, it's only deadly by the person that would use it. But everybody has their preference. So there's people who love plastic and aluminum, and I have fully respect your rights of ownership of all these things. You have the massive collection, because one of my gun buddies, Cliff Jan, has some of these things in Canada. I look at them, and I've handled them, and cool, you know, but it's not my cup of tea. My cup of tea would be uh, an M1 carbine, let's say, or AK-47. Real stuff, real steel and wood, that's what I'm trying to say. So I'm into real steel, real wood, or brass stuff. I'm not into plastic, sorry, or aluminum, sorry, I don't, I just detest those things. Anyway, off topic so in my um, hope I would like to see these TV show reality shows bring Antoine Gazda into the limelight because it is forgotten American history and it's to make a hell of a good story all his adventures what he had to go through um, escaping Nazi Germany making the the Orlikon Cannon in Providence and Wakefield, Rhode Island, to fight off the kamikazes. It's an incredible story. It's factory. All this stuff is buried in time and history. So, it's sad that so much <coughs> stuff is buried in time and history and forgotten about. It's kind of inspired by a few video requests, of course, as well as TV show called Forgotten History. So I'm in hope that I can put this and post this link to a number of filmmakers and journalists I know who already have done adventurous stories with me, uh, with Fox TV and TLC and Discovery Channel and National Geographic TV and films. And let's concentrate on some of the American history, like Antoine Gazda. Anyway, <sighs>
That's a long, drawn-out spiel. So, Vienna's in Vienna right now. Her sisters are as well. My medical doctor was Dr. Margarita Kokoschnik, Dr. Peter Kokoschnik's wife, but also Ian's sister. So it would be Margarita Gazda, oldest sister, medical doctor. I lived at their residence for two years on and off. I lived in Munich a little bit as well. So, I had quite the adventure in uh, Germany. I often wonder how Roland is doing. And oh yes, I do have a lot of papers that need translation articles on moi, Roland and myself and Yin, plus videos. I have so much stuff that needs to be put on the internet, okay? Videos, I keep mentioning it all the time. Videos, 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 got all those. Got tons of documents, magazine stories, magazine articles. It'd be cool. Anyway. Well, I suppose I could take this and show you the armory. Or I should probably be doing this a little bit. Do, I call it the armory. the original loose I got from off of eBay, the Mantle and Gazda workshop. Yeah, we go around this way, I guess. I'll have to clean up this today to the lathe. Mini lathe trying to cut a bar of three inch steel so I take a break from it. around this way. Still recording? I have a so. That's out of Antoine Gadza's office in Rhode Island. It came on eBay. These are all amounts and stuff. All this stuff is brass. Hello, who are you? Anyway, I'm discovering some of that. No, it's a go course, I tell you. Okay, so that's that video request. I hope it's helpful to somebody looking in on history of Antoine Gasta and my involvement. Uh, and close off saying wishing you guys all the best and let me know about the other video on the Metropolitan Vickers 90mm anti-aircraft cannon painted green okay I'm gonna close off and hope this satisfies some of you folks that put in the video requests I got a few others too that people want me to do. Remember, I do them for you. I do them for you. It sounds like a commercial, doesn't it? Well, okay. <coughs> you can ask me any question and request a video, and I'd be happy to do it because I enjoy doing silly stuff like this. Okay? Right. Okay, loves. Take care. Bye now.